What is up, you guys? Welcome to the Wandering Kid channel. I'm so excited to have you guys here with me. So please stick around, join me for the ride, and let's have an adventure of a lifetime. Along with colleagues and friends, we land at the Noibai Airport in Hanoi, where we begin this adventure. We arrived in Hanoi on a chilly morning and thus there was no better way to warm ourselves up than the comforting bowl of pho. And even I couldn't resist this iconic Hanoi classic as I sip and slurp to the last drop. With our tummies full and bodies warm, we then took to the bus as we began our journey to the mountains of North Vietnam. Joining us on this trip is my very good friend and Hanoi native, Ian. Hours later, we made it to our first destination, the town of Sapa in Lao Cai. We're here today in Moana, here in Sapa town. It's our first attraction for today. Hey guys, so today we're here in Sapa and this is our very first attraction in our visit here. This is called Moana. And this is considered one of the newest attractions in this beautiful quaint town. Here we have the Heaven's Gate that's similar to Bali. We have that popular hand statue, that uh, piano, and the statue of Moana over there. So uh, let's explore what we have can see in this. After spending a few hours in Moana, it isn't hard to see why this has become one of the new and trendy places in town. Because aside from the gorgeous mountain views that it affords you, its attractions are truly cute and really Instagram worthy that everyone can enjoy. Being the fun-loving folks that we are, we roamed, posed, and tried all the different attractions as if little kids lost in a theme park. And with our phones and cameras in hand, we snapped and recorded to our heart's content, creating memories that we would look back with joy and fondness. My personal favorite, the cliff-hanging swing of death might be scary for some, but rewards you with the best view of the mountains of Sapa. As the sun started setting in, it was time for us to head to our home in Sapa. And for us, it is the view Sapa Hotel. And what a fitting name, because the view definitely did not disappoint. The rooms were not only cozy and beautiful, but also gains you access to the best vistas of the mountains of North Vietnam. And as 
the evening rolled around, I took to the town to the famous May restaurant and sampled some of Sapa's finest bites and eats. And as we savored a beautiful and scrumptious dinner, we witnessed Sapa, the sleepy settlement, wake up into a town brimming with lights, sounds, and energy. Soon, Sapa town was bathed in the brightest lights and colors. I'm here with Kuya. We're having some bubble tea here in Sapa from a place called Poppy, Poppy, Poppy. It's actually very sweet. I'm actually younger than him. Don't believe him. <laughs> so we're now going back to our hotel. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's going to be uh, how many minutes walk back to the hotel? One more two kilometers. So, so maybe around 10, 22 minutes according to Google. So probably around 20 to 25 minutes. Yeah. Depending on our pace. Yeah. So we'll end it here. This is end of day one. Bye bye. Bye 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 bye. Before I end this video, a hearty shout out to our partners in this trip, Omega Tours Vietnam. With top notch services at the most affordable prices, Omega Tours is your friend in Vietnam and beyond. And that is it you guys for episode 1 of the Vietnam series. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.